Um, I just want to show you something because I came up onto the other plot and uh, there I saw my beautiful cauliflowers that the last time I saw them they were only about so big um, and now um, actually one or two of them have actually gone too far um, and some of them are ready to pick so I'm just going to show you how to know when your cauliflowers are ready. Now when your cauliflowers start to come up as this little one has here, can you just about see him? Just, just there just there. What you need to do is you need to bend the leaves over, break the leaves, bend them over and it protects them um, from turning a different colour uh, and keeps them nice and white. Okay so don't worry about breaking the leaves because you're supposed to. Now after a while the leaves, because I did bend these but then the cauliflowers grow, grow nice and big uh, and this one is ready to pick. If I leave it much longer, it'll start to sort of separate. And I'll show you that on another one. Now all you need to do is get either a very sharp knife or some secateurs. These are my second best secateurs. I've left my best ones at home. And all you need to do is to get underneath it. And if you get a few of the leaves, it doesn't really matter. You just need to cut through the big, hard, stem okay like that okay and there we have a lovely little cauliflower now when you um, eat these you need to give them a good old wash and I'll explain why right you need to give these a good wash because uh, you tend to get lots of little um, creepy crawlies in here and if you're a vegetarian if you suddenly come across a little caterpillar uh, you won't be very impressed. So what you need to do is cut it into florets and then just leave it to soak in cold with a bit of salt in the water, okay, so cold salted water for about half an hour. And when you take each one out, have a good look through because they get stuck in all sorts of places. Usually you find it with broccoli as well, but this year I haven't seemed to have found it with the broccoli. The broccoli has been beautiful and clear, um, but now it's getting a bit late and I'm sure I'll end up finding some bits and pieces in here. Um, so just have a good old look when, when you've cut it up into florets um, and, and you sort of take it out of the salted water before you put it in the boiling water. Um, to cook it. Now it doesn't take long and it tastes much nicer than um, than the stuff you bought you buy in the supermarket. It's not as big but it's all mine. Okay but I'm going to show you now uh, some that have actually gone past their date but you can still use them. Okay right here is one that's gone too far. Uh, it started to, it hasn't got that nice smooth top to it, it started to sort of uh, sprout or separate okay but there's nothing wrong with it you can still eat it use it in vegetable stews or stocks or um, anything that you like but um, though they're fine so I'll most probably cut those as well um, and uh, and take them home um, and use those within the next couple of days well I hope you found that useful and if you have grown cauliflowers um, do enjoy them there's not just plain cauliflower or cauliflower cheese there's all sorts of things you can do uh, with cauliflower um, and it is really Really, really nice. My kids love it, absolutely love it, which is very handy because I've got loads here. Anyway, I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.